once they enrolled in the course, no, they followed up regularly. You also need to keep updating the skills and you know, just focus on the basics, I would say. External trainers who are coming in and, and teaching you. I can just tell many more people about skilling. I have been placed in one of the best MNCs in the world. Hi Shabir, firstly thank you for taking the time off to talk to us today and congratulations on your placement. Can you tell us a bit more about your background please? I am from electronics and instrumentation background and you know I have about 5 years of work experience in the field of IoT where you know we have developed the projects mainly for the telecom and mining industries. But now you know I have joined the skill link and I have learned about automotive experience as well. Can you tell us about how you learned about Skilllink and what made you join the course? I actually was uh, searching the internet which course should I join to upskill myself and then you know I found out Skilllink and then once I spoke to the support team and things like that then I was feeling very comfortable with them. Initially I enrolled on two short term courses ADAS and AutoSAR then once I completed the, both these courses I was fascinated to enroll in masters in electric vehicle design and analysis course as well. I learned what are the major components of electric vehicles and then how does an electric vehicle work, how we need to model it, how we need to simulate it and also basically on, on the automotive embedded systems as well. So these were the courses which I took and these were the courses which I learned. And uh, as an MBD engineer, how do you think you've benefited from the course that you study? Before joining Skilling, I don't have an, any idea on how these electric vehicles or how these things work. You know, after joining Skilling, I, I had an in-depth knowledge of how these vehicles work and things like that. So it has immensely helped me. And what about the projects that you did? Can you tell us a bit more about the projects that you took up over here? In ADAS course, I took a project on uh, adaptive cruise control, which is mainly on, on the cruise control part. Also, you know, modeling of uh, electric vehicles and battery management systems were other projects which I took and these were immensely helpful for me. Okay, and how did these projects help you in the interviews that you... Once you get into the interview, the first question they ask is, no, tell me about your projects. And these projects, when I explained them, they, they understood like, you know, I have modeled it and I have simulated it from starting to end. So it, it, it definitely benefited me. So. Can you tell us a bit more about how the tech support team helped you and how the student success team played in you getting the role, the mock interviews, the tool tests that they gave you during your course? Once they enrolled in the course, you know, they followed up regularly, you know, weekly twice or weekly thrice. They just call me and ask me what is the status and then you know, if I have any doubts, I can just call them and then in any time I can just ask them to clear my doubts. And you know, once I completed about 3-4 courses, then I was enrolled in the customer success team and then you know, every weekend, every week, I mean Saturdays, I, I just get a call from the customer team that we have training on this, we have training on this and on, on these things. Everything, you know, before attending interviews, we had about, you know, five, six mock interviews and we had about external trainers coming in and train us for these interviews. Even Skilllink had a tool test and, you know, you get to have a confidence when you attend all these, you know, 10, 15 kind of mock interviews and things like that. So, you no, know, it, it was just definitely a conf confidence booster for me. Now that you've finished the course and you've tasted success, can you, do you have any word of advice for students who are struggling to finish the course now? Yeah, I would definitely ask them to, you know, follow the uh, support engineers, what they tell you to do. And then, you know, you also need to keep updating the skills and, you know, just Focus on the basics, I would say, because that is more important when you want to crack the interviews. And you have external trainers who are coming in and, and teaching you as well. So, you know, get maximum knowledge from them and that is more than enough. Obviously, you've had a great experience at Skilllink. You've had a very gratifying learning journey. Would you recommend the same for your friends or your family? Of course, yes. I have recommended a couple of my friends and colleagues to join the Skilllink and they have already in the process of joining the skilling. So, you know, in future, I think, you know, I can just tell uh, many more people about skilling and then, you know, have a wonderful experience for them as well. Congratulations again, Sharad. We wish you all the best and we hope you come back to skilling to study more. Sure, sure, sure. Thanks. Thanks.